Hey friends, Dr. Murphy here. This is another story about the fountain of youth. And we human beings have been looking for this fountain of youth forever. So in a recent Wall Street Journal, young people take a shot at heading off wrinkles. More patients in their 20s and 30s are seeking out what is called preventive Botox or prejuvenation in hopes of keeping skin smooth. But also from last weekend's Wall Street Journal, a wonderful column, The Quest to Look Forever Young. And this author talks about ancient Greeks and the Egyptians and China's first emperor. Oh, goodness, everyone's involved. In the uh, talk about 16th century France. In 1889, a French doctor named Charles Brown Sicard tells that story. And then we get up to more modern days, advances in plastic surgery following World War I. Well, yeah, so the point here is we've always been looking for this elixir, this fountain of youth, and we will always continue to do that. <laughs> and the way that young people are doing it now is probably a little more productive than some of the things that the ancient Greeks, Egyptians, and others did in centuries before.